Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to in the video? This is another paid request, this time for John the Zero Cool. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos or topics, uh, reactions, reviews, commentaries, wherever it may be, uh, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. And this is for... He wanted me to watch two segments of this YouTube channel called... Hollywood Graveyard, and in each of the segments, they visit like a collection of famous graves from around the world. Which I wasn't sure, because I thought, man, this seems a bit morbid. But I just say, I did what John was going. What he commented to me about the request is it is interesting because at least the person does a nice job editing pictures and info with each of these grave sites. Now, if you know about the person, it's not info you haven't heard before. I guess the, the interest was me wondering like what grave was going to pop up next and if it was solely centered on the most unique graves where something about the architecture or designs or something unique about them and you're viewing on that curiosity factor maybe I would understand the channel a bit more but I guess you know just for curiosity Curiosity sake of people, uh, it's hosted by a guy named Arthur Dark, and a lot of, it says presented by you, the viewer, meaning people put in their submissions of graves they they see or they've witnessed, and they're you know popular, whether actors or it's not just actors, but for example, like W. D. Griffith. He's a director, Birth of a Nation, as well as a film called Intolerance. And you, we go to Howard Hughes, uh, Selena, Mickey Mantle, Jane Mansfield, uh, musicians like Leon Russell. And the second one, we go to H.P. Lovecraft, uh, James Dean, Bob Ross, Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee. Chris Farley, Harold Ramis. Uh, definitely the second episode seemed like the one that was more familiar people to me. I mean, I was familiar with Selena, Mickey Mantle, and W.D. Griffith and such, but I mean, I didn't you got Harold Ramis, Chris Farley, Bruce Lee, Brennan Lee, James Dean. I mean, you hit a lot of the, the big notes in that one. But it's interesting how some of the graves are very... Bare bones in a way. It's just, there's the grave on the ground, name, birth, date, no bells and whistles for a decent amount. But then there's certain choices like Mickey Mantle is in a mausoleum with others. I just, I just assumed that a lot of these would be very specific, like Mickey Mantle, because they're one of the baseball greats. It'd be like this big baseball type of monument or something around him or no no just in a mausoleum and there's some that are unique like Selena there's it's a Corpus Christi and there's white flowers and there's like a her face is like a mural kind of a statue thing on the ground I'm not sure how to describe it uh, Jane Mansfield her tombstone is shaped like a heart. Uh, Leon Russell, who's a musician, so he has like a monument, like a tombstone, kind of shaped like a piano, which is neat. And as you watch it, there is, for people, for things I didn't know, there is info even I gathered, like Al Copeland. I didn't know that was the founder of Popeye's Chicken. Okay. Or Ain and Chain Bunker, the original Siamese twins. And the idea of Siamese twins is from them. Didn't know about them. I 
know about Siamese Twins, but I didn't know it was Ain and Chain Bunker, and I think it's well edited where they show pictures, and the, the voice of the host fits, it's not too arbitrary or too off-center, like it doesn't belong. I do like the uh, Ray Trailer, Big Boss Man. We see, we do see his grave. Again, the the second one, H.P. Lovecraft, uh, Waylon Jennings, who did the theme of the Dudes of Hazard, James Dean, who was only twenty four, and with him right next to it is like a gift shop for James Dean stuff, which I'm like. I don't know, some, does that seem a bit morbid? Hey, come see the grave. Now come buy some shit. Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. And I'm just surprised, like, Catherine Hepburn. Her grave is just very, just on the ground. You know, on the ground. A slab. Name, date. You know, Catherine Hepburn, known as a great actress. I guess someone's like, nah, no bills and whistles. Yeah, Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee, their grave and monuments kind of next to each other. Maybe not a monument, but, you know, their tombstones next to each other. Chris Farley in Wisconsin and Resurrection Cemetery. What a name for a cemetery. He's in, like, a, a crypt. Jimi Hendrix, he has a pretty big monument. That seemed like the biggest monument I've seen of these two. So, it's definitely interesting enough to see the differences between how some are just... Like, there's one, a guy who was part of Hee Haw, that I didn't understand because it looked like a just grass. Like... The camera was pointing at the thing of grass, and it felt like it looked like there's no grave, like there's no tombstone, there's no name, there's no tombstone, there's no nothing. It felt like not quite a ditch, but almost a like you, you couldn't tell anything that that was a grave. So I thought that was really weird. I thought there'd be a bit more info about why that looked so. You go outside and you turn, you see a patch of grass, and boom, that's what it is. It's like, what? Really? That was a bit weird to me. Bob Ross, it was kind of cool that there were paintbrushes left by the the grave. I always wonder when people leave stuff, I, you know there's some dumbass who just steals shit. They just say they just fucking take shit. Just no one's looking, you know, because they're assholes. But yeah, the it was definitely, you know, the the person found their own gimmick, so to speak, for a YouTube channel, something a bit different and unique, and they feature a lot of different names, so each one's like thirty minutes long, so. Again, if you don't know about one or the other, it goes by pretty quickly. And like I said, it's well edited. And I don't know if I would really watch more, though, because, again, one of the main fascinations was, okay, how is this going to look different? And again, if it was more about just, like, these are the most unique tombstones or these are the ones with monuments, maybe the curiosity factor... But, again, I guess if you want to watch something a bit different, Hollywood Graveyard. Um, if you type in Hollywood Graveyard on YouTube, you'll find the channel. Um, at least it was definitely off the beaten path, so to speak. So, I do appreciate that. So, uh, thanks once again, John. Zero Cool. Thanks for the request. Uh, take care, guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.